Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back in here to see what I'm up to. I hope everybody's doing okay with this COVID-19 lockdown and whatever else is happening in your state or in your country. I hope that all is well with those that you know and are or are you know anybody affected by this anybody i just you know keep you all in my thoughts and my prayers as we traverse through this it is not easy you guys it is not easy in any way shape or form and i just am very grateful that i have a roof over my head and shoes on my feet and i'm able to bring you guys a few little crafting or chit chat or whatever kind of videos here so but anyway let's get started on this video i don't want to chit chat too long here i as you know made this funky bow 10 loop funky bow with a couple of uh, long tails out of this beautiful diagonal buffalo check kind of ribbon found it at craftoutlet.com i'll put a link in the description for this and the navy blue burlap i'm going to turn my camera around here and i'll show you this beautiful brute let's try that again i'll show you this beautiful blue burlap shoo, uh, that i found at craftoutlet.com and we're going to make this navy blue with this bow and i'm going to then i'm going to make a little spray to go on it too so let's turn this around i did purchase the ribbon and the burlap from craftoutlet.com since i've been home sorry about that since i've been home from my trip and I bought some other, some new blueberries since I've been home. Candace got me these for Christmas and I will give you links to everything that I've purchased. All of the other florals that I have here, I've had in my coffers uh, for, I don't even know, years, you guys, years. So let me get my camera pointed down here a little bit and we're gonna, I'm gonna put this burlap on this wreath form here. Okay, this is a wreath form that I've had hanging in my garage. I do believe I got this from craftoutlet.com, but not lately. It's been hanging out there probably a year, you all. I have another one that has burlap ties on it, burlap colored ties on it, but I decided I wanted to use the white ties just because I'm making this blue and white, and if some of these ties peek out from, a, you know, in and through the burlap, it's gonna be okay with me. Better for me than if I saw them in the, um, you know, kind of khaki or burlap -y color, you know, natural color. So, all right. I ha it's been a while since I've made a burlap wreath. And just to let you know, most people who make burlap wreaths may on a, a wreath form like this, turn the wreath this direction. I like to be different. I've tried a couple like that and they turned out beautiful. But for me, I really prefer to do my wreaths this way. And I don't recommend that you do that at all. I just wanted to tell you how I do my wreaths, okay? So the way I do it is I, you know, as you can see, I pulled up, these are like twist ties, these chenille ties like this. So I pulled everything up to the top and each of these is two, you know. So it's, it, they act like a twist tie. So I'm gonna open one up here on the end. Here is this beautiful blue, navy blue burlap. Is that not beautiful? Look at that. So first thing I'm gonna do is let, just let it drop to the floor and unroll, just like that. Of course, I picked this top to wear today. Probably not the brightest decision. But I'm gonna accordion it together at one end and the way you start this is you give yourself a little tail that you can tuck between these rungs. You just lay it right down into the twist tie and you tie it in there. Now I'm only gonna be doing, I think just two or possibly three times around this wreath form. So then I just tuck that back in there and that will be hidden at the back of the bow. Some people, can take a tie wrap, let me show you this, and take a tie wrap like this and tie it to the rung. And you, if it would make you feel better, can certainly do that to stop it from unraveling. Although I've never had a problem with anything unraveling or just to keep that tail down and out of the way. So you can do that if you want, just to keep it in place. That's just a little hint for you. 
You'll be seeing me use a lot of tie wraps once we get to my little uh, swag. Need my only thing I forgot is my measuring tape because I usually eyeball this, but now how you do this is you pick up your burlap and I accordion it together. I keep all the burlap running in the same direction. I don't twist it as I go. I keep it running all in the same direction. And then I measure out about 12 inches. Let's do 11 inches for this because this isn't quite as big as some of my reads. We'll do 11. 11 between each one. Yeah. Yeah, about 11 and a half. Okay, and then you, so you measure it out and then you back it up and snug it right where you've pulled it together there down into the next available twist tie. You see, that's gonna make a nice pretty loop. And I can see that these might stick out between some of the rungs and that's okay between some of the burlap. So here we go again, accordion it together pull it out about 11 inches, back it up, and put it snug it right down at that point, right into that twist tie. Okay, now you can see what I'm doing. I usually twist it at least twice, by the way. Twist that twist tie twice. Now, I'm going to go ahead and speed on through the rest of these, and I'll come back when we're ready to transition over to the uh, inner ring. Now, as you can see, there are twist ties or chenille ties on the outer rung of this wreath form and on the inner one. So we're gonna put one row of burlap around the outside and then we're gonna transition down into the lower portion and put a row down on the inside too. Okay, so I will be back when I get around to here and we're ready to transfer over to the next, to the inner ring. around to the where I started. Here's where I started. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie back in right in there into that twist tie. Some people untwist it, but I'm not going to do that unless I need to and I don't. So there you can see that I've made it all the way around and I've tied something in each twist tie, each chenille tie all the way around. Okay, now we're going to transfer over to the inner ring and I am just going to do the same thing as I've done every other time, and that's accordion it together, measure out about 11 inches, push it back up, and I'm gonna move down, just simply move right down to the inside rung. Catch it just like I did before, wrap it, and that's gonna start our inner ring. And I'm gonna work my way all the way around, just like I did with the outer ring. Up. Snug it down. same fashion and I'll be back when I get her back around. I'm gonna speed on through this. Try really hard not to twist your burlap as you go, meaning twist it this way. Try to keep it going in one direction.
okie dokie, here I am all the way back around and I'm gonna tie it off by making one more loop, 11 inches, and I'm gonna tie it right in to where I started in the inner loop. Okay, now again, well, I haven't said this. Nobody taught me how to do these burlap wreaths, you guys. I taught myself. So if this is different from how more professional people have made them, you know, I, I encourage you to follow their lead. I am not a professional by any stretch of the imagination. This is just how I've done it and how I like them to look. Okay, so there we go. I'm just going to cut that off. I used a good bit of that burlap. This is all I have left. So, that's as much as I have left. I will certainly use that for something else. Okay, and what I do with, oops, sorry. Okay, and what I do with this piece that I just cut off, I just, as you saw me, I just cut it off with the scissors and I just tuck it down between the two rungs. And again, if I wanted to, I could just take a tie wrap and tie it to one of the rungs back here. And that way, I'm not really worried about it unraveling, to be honest. I'm not, but just to show you. you just take a tie wrap. The magic tie wrap. And attach it back in the back like that. And that way you'll be sure that it won't unravel on you. Now, the next thing I like to do is take a little bit of time and do some fluffing. That means get my hand in every single one of these loops and unaccordion it, you know? Fluff it way out as much as you can. You can always, you know, kind of tuck it back in, but I usually put my hands in each side and I open up my fingers and I really make it as big as I can get it. See that? Each side of the loop and kind of un unfurl it and make it as big as you can get it. here on my little stand you can see I got this little stand at Hobby Lobby a long time ago uh, and it is just an easel and I'll put a link in the description if I can find them although I will say HobbyLobby.com is out of a ton of stuff uh, but you may be able to find it I'll link it if I if I can find it regardless of whether it's sold out or not I'll still link it for you in the description uh, as I said it's just an easel that is adjustable and this has been a handy dandy little thing for me and Chris put a screw in it for me so that I can just you know hang my wreaths on it while I so I can set them up as I work on them a little bit you know sometimes it helps to be able to see what you're doing again I'm not real worried about this white showing I'm not sure how much of it will show by the time I'm done adding my stuff to it and we'll see if I want to tuck them in or not. You know, I may. But right now it looks kind of funny because it's kind of just burlap and that's all it is. And, you know, I'm going to add some stuff to it. This I'm going to make a spray for on this. And this bow is going to go right about there on it. And I do make my wreaths very similarly each time I make them because I really like the way I make them and I really don't want to mess with how I like to make them. So if you've seen one of my other reads, you pretty much know what I'm gonna do. So first thing I need is this. 
And this is just one piece of, um, of a, you know, a pick or a big long pick from Hobby Lobby. I got this last fall or at the end of the summer last year, I think. And the first thing I want to do is just, I'll probably end up cutting that down. I don't know whether I can get it or whether Chris might need to come and help me cut this down. Because I don't want that big old stem. And I can't really bend it. Or can I cut it? Hmm. I'll be right back. Well, I went and found Chris, and he pulled out his big cutters. Look at those. So he cut it down for me. <laughs> That's like a weapon. Oh, my goodness. I couldn't do it. So anyway, all right. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is going to be the underneath part of my spray. And it's going to go like this. You know, and when I get it on there, I'll spread it out and do some stuff with it, you know? But that's the start of my spray. I also want to add a few more things in with it. So let me put you back down here for a minute. And I have these left over from a Christmas present that Candace gave me. And I use the rest of them in a, an arrangement I have up on my credenza. So I want these to kind of just follow along with this. So I am going to cut them down a smidge. Like that. And this is the way I usually make my wreaths. I usually make a spray first and then tie them in to the I usually tie them in to the wreath, all in one big spray. Call me impatient or whatever, but I am not one that, that likes to put her flowers in one at a time. Sometimes I do, well at the end, you'll see. I'll only put so much in the spray, and then I'll add, you know, blueberries and whatever else in. Okay, get a couple tie wraps here. I wrap this, these on to this greenery stem. And this will all be covered, of course, by the bow. that will pull in the white element a good bit and I, I really don't need much more than that but this isn't a huge wreath so I think I may you know err on the side of a bit of caution here and get this tied on to this wreath form I am going to snug it down in there a little bit and tie it right to one of the rungs. I also have that bless your heart sign. I'm just not sure I'm going to use it though. You know, sometimes I change my mind on stuff. Okay, that'll hold that into place. And I'm going to go ahead and tie this bow on. And the way I do this is I take a tie wrap and I, let me cut this, uh, Twist tie down, and what I do is I slide this tie wrap underneath the sh the uh, chenille tie that I tied the bow shut with, and then make sure my tails are kind of running in the right direction. Then I use the tie wrap and tie the tie wrap onto the stem that I just tied on the wreath. I really could have done this before I put the whole stem on, but I like to be able to see the stem. Now, what I do is I really cinch this down tight, you guys. But I make sure that my bow, you see what I'm doing, is kind of pointed down a little bit. See that? I don't like, 
I want to be able to maybe even see some of the blue up behind this bow. So I want to make the bow look like it's it's really like hugging into this this wreath. I love to cinch them down tight like that. See that? I hope you understood what I meant by that. <laughs> and again, I am not trained in wreath making by any stretch of the imagination. The only one that's trained me is me. And I just like things to look a certain way. And now, let me see here. Take some time and I'm going to do some fluffing. Sometimes I will put florals in with the bow and I may add some blueberries in, but I may not too. Kind of like this just the way it is. I mean, I might add some blueberries. You know what? I don't know, guys. I think I like it just like that. Honest to Pete. Sometimes simple is better, you know? Oops. And I've got blueberries all over the rest of the house. I kind of like it without the blueberries. I really like the navy blue shining through and white. And I don't think I want to mess with that. I like the greenery with it. You know, and I might pull some of the greenery up and through some of the twist ties up here on the top. Just pull them around a little bit like this. I'm not worrying about the twist tie being showing either, you guys. These are pretty bendable. I like that. That might not look too bad hanging there. Well, let's put it on and see, huh? Kind of looks cute. <laughs> Trying to talk myself in and out of things, aren't I? my glue gun plugged in here but I'm not gonna use it I like it Oop, you don't need to bless your heart hidden but that's cute yeah I like that well you guys Of course, I'll mess with it a little bit and get it perfect. And I'm liking this. All right, let's cut these tails up a little bit here. And I just very simply want them, let me see what I'm doing, cut at an angle. I kind of want them long. I'd rather start them longer than shorter. a little shorter. Just like that. Bow needs a little bit of work, but why do something more to it just because I can? Why not leave it like this and 
let it be a little bit more simple and light and airy. I love it. I love it. All right, y'all. <laughs> Let's go into some final words. Let me get turned around and I'm gonna mess with it a little bit more and I'll come back in just a minute for some final words. Hey everyone, I'm back. And here we go with the final product. Here we go. <laughs> Isn't that cute? I really like it. I really, 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 really like it. And I will put it out on the door here in a minute and I'll take a picture of it on the, on the door or take a last video of it. But I'm really happy with how this turned out. You guys, really, really happy. Sometimes, sometimes I need to pull myself back, you know? Sometimes it's better. Less is definitely more sometimes. <laughs> Y'all should, y'all probably did see the pile of flowers I had sitting there. I mean, I had a bunch of flowers sitting there ready to go into this thing and it doesn't need it. It's super pretty as is. It definitely goes with my blue and white cottage, you know, decor and feel. I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So anyway, thank you guys so much for stopping in here with me today. I appreciate your company. <laughs> It makes me feel better to do some crafting or to come on here and talk with you guys. You know, I, I would be a fibber as I, as I mentioned in a video, I don't know, several ago that, you know, these days are sometimes difficult to get through. You know, they're sometimes difficult to traverse. You know, you can only do the same thing, <laughs> you know, every day in your home. Again, I am so grateful to have our home and to be able to, you know, have some of this stuff, to be able to order from Craft Outlet. I appreciate them mailing this out, you know, this blue burlap, you know, and, I, and I'm so glad that Candace got me this for Christmas. I'm so grateful for that. You know, I'm grateful I had some greenery left over. You know, I'm just grateful. I have to stop and go, quit being a baby, Arlen. Quit whining. You're lucky, you're grateful. You are blessed to be able to not be sick and not be fighting this virus on the front lines like so many are. My heart goes out to all of you if you're watching me. My heart, the nurses and the doctors and the technicians and the, you know, the LPNs and the RNs and the everybody in between. You are heroes. You are heroes. And I appreciate you, every single one of you. If any of you watch me, I appreciate you. Or if none of you do, pass it to somebody that you know. Please tell them they are in my prayers, in my thoughts and prayers. Anyway, with all that said, let me go into my final words. And again, thank you all so much for stopping in here. I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain. I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. We will get through this, y'all. We will get through this. Keep looking up, keep washing those hands, keep being kind to others. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Okay, here we are in my kitchen here. This is where I just was all set up. And I brought my, I don't even have my lights on yet today, but I brought my wreath over and hung it up in here. And look at that. Wow, I love it. I think it looks super pretty right there on that door. I got that over the door wreath holder, adjustable wreath hanger from Grandin Road. But if I can find it on Amazon, I'll give you a link for that too. Sometimes I can find them on Amazon, sometimes I can't. But anyway, this is our mud room and those are the curtains I was talking about. And you know what, I don't care if it doesn't perfectly match them. I love the blue and white. And as you're looking through, excuse Chris's, there but as you're looking through again I don't have my lights on but you can see all of the blue and white touches as you're looking through here I'm gonna turn my lights on so y'all can get a better look and I like looking through there and seeing the blue and white even though the curtains don't necessarily match in there I don't care there's my lights 
And you can always find a link in the description too for this eTech City remote system that we use. Very easy. But as you can see, as you look through there, of course it's, it's very bright over there now, but with all the other blue and white, I think that it pairs beautifully. I have a little bit of buffalo check here and it just pulls it right in. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is a well-used room, as you can see. Shopping bags and all kinds of stuff here. I do have other blue and white in here, as you can see. So, anyway, that's it, y'all. That's where it's landed. I love it, and we're getting a delivery. Somebody's coming to the front door. I have no idea what we ordered. <laughs> but anyway, that's it for now, y'all. So I'll just say again, I love you to bits, and y'all take good good care. Bye-bye. Bless your hearts. <laughs> Met in the, with the most loving sentiments.